Hi, my name is Shia, and this video, finally, it's time to finish the kippah. And here's how. It was pretty tight, and one, two, three, sorry, three, and here we're going to add a loop, do a double loop, so the kippah is starting to get a little bit curly, four, five, it's going to get tight here because of the knots that we did to make the kippah, so we just push a little bit harder, six, seven, because of the knot, I'm going to try to pull it forward so we won't see it. There we go. One minute. Seven. Eight. And here I'm going to do another double knot. I see that it's needed. And nine. The ninth one is putting the thread into the first one where we started the red. It's going to be tough because again there's a lot of knots there, but we're successful. Then I'm using my hands, just stretching out the kippah, to stretch and straighten. And I'm going to turn the kippah around. For the last stage, you have to make sure that the red kippah, the red thread, won't fall apart. So I'm going to put the needle into the, again, the original beginning, original hole, and pull the thread through. Again, it's tight, which is a good thing. And again, for the last one, before pulling it through like normal, I'm gonna take a knife or scissors. I'm gonna cut the red thread. I'm gonna give myself some space. I'll show you again here I cut, but I give myself some space to work with. I'm gonna hold it like I did before. But if it's too small to hold it by your pinky, then you can hold it just by your first finger. And now, I'm going to take the thread and pull it through. One, two, three. There we go. That's the end of the kippa. We finished the red row. Again, I'm using my thumbs to straighten out the the ends, make it smooth. I can also go like this. Here we go. With this, I'm going to tie a knot and sew it back through from the back. This is kind of hard because I'm a righty. So I'm going to take the needle and bring it through a random one. Let's see if it'll work. One minute. It's challenging. This is not my good hand. But let's try to do it with my hand. There we go. You pull the thread through. And then I can cut it. And there we go. That's our keeper. Sometimes at the last stage, um, your hands can get oily, or sometimes the white can get a little bit rough or stained. 
So if you want, you can wash it with water, with some laundry detergent, and you can put it on a bowl or something to make the shape. And once it will dry, it will be in the shape of a head and ready for use. Thank you for watching.